Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for all the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So, thank you. Now, let's continue. Have you ever felt more fulfilled and happy with your own company than when you're around others? In today's video, we'll talk about isolophilia, what it is, the feelings associated with it, and how isolophilia may be linked to having an introverted personality. Isolophilia is referred to as having a strong affection and preference for solitude and being on your own. This is not necessarily a negative term or something that has negative effects. You might just simply prefer your own company and routinely like to go out by yourself to eat, grab a coffee, or see a movie. You're someone who feels much more comfortable when you're by yourself. Isolophilia is linked to introversion. Isolophilia may be a trait that is more present in people who are introverted. Introverted personalities are characterized as being more quiet and reserved, and you probably don't necessarily seek out social things. This is because social settings and interactions such as parties and meeting up with others can become very overwhelming and stressful for you, especially if you're being urged by others to be more engaging. Talking with others and sharing things about yourself don't come easily to you. When social interactions get too overwhelming for you, you can wind up feeling exhausted due to the mental energy it takes to spend time around others. Therefore, you would rather engage less in talking and interacting with others by retreating and taking comfort in having time for yourself. And that's perfectly okay. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health and social interactions can take a lot out of you if you're more introverted. Isophilia within the modern world. In the modern world where socializing has become easier due to the presence of social media, social gaming, and dating websites, it has now become that much harder to have personal time alone for yourself. Because you have so many social apps to keep up with, you might feel outside pressure to engage with social media more than you want to. But psychology suggests that actively engaging in solitude allows you to sift and sort through your personal emotions, adjust to change, and allows you to foster creativity. It gives you time to rest physically and emotionally and helps you to connect with others in more meaningful ways. Despite being social beings, having this important alone time is essential. Therefore, those with isophilia may give themselves more opportunities to develop as a person in many different ways, especially emotionally and psychologically. We hope this video helped you to learn more about isophilia. Do you or someone you know have isophilia? Did this video help you understand them or yourselves a little bit better? Share your experiences with us in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.